Push links from your desktop to your phone with ease today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Gazelle, the fastest and easiest way to sell and recycle your gadgets. Welcome to App Judgment, Revision 3's application review show. My name's Ron Richards, and one of the things I love about my Android phone is that every now and then you find a little app that makes your life that much easier to live. And today, that app is Chrome to Phone for Android. Chrome to Phone was developed by those geniuses over at Google, and it's totally free in the Android marketplace. Now, before I get into showing you how this app works, I thought I'd explain it a little. Since Android OS was developed by Google, there's the option for some great integration with other Google services, like we've already seen with syncing your contacts and with Gmail. Chrome to Phone is another example of this taking advantage of integrating your phone with Google's Chrome web browser. What Chrome to Phone does is allows you to take any web page you're viewing on your desktop in Chrome and push that link to the page on your phone. Think about it. It sounds fairly simple, but once I thought about the application of this in my everyday use, it blew my mind and now I can't live without it. Here's an example. You're going somewhere and you're looking up the location on Google Maps on your computer's browser. You see the map and the directions. Before Chrome to Phone, I would have to then type in the same information in my Google Maps app on my phone just to get the same directions. Now, I just tap Chrome to Phone in your browser and it pushes the link to your phone which opens it up in Google Maps and saves you time. Now let's take a look at how it works. To get set up with Chrome to Phone, it's a two-step process. First on your desktop, you need to install the Chrome to Phone extension in your Chrome browser. This extension can be found in the Google Chrome Extensions Gallery and is a quick download. Once you've done that, you'll need to move to your phone, find Chrome to Phone in the Android Marketplace, and remember it's free, and download and install the app. Once you've got it installed on both your browser and your phone, you're all set. All you need to do is sign into Chrome to Phone on your browser and you're ready to roll. It's a little tricky to set up with the phone and the browser, but once you do, you'll be thankful. We'll play with Chrome to Phone after this word from our sponsor. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Gazelle, the fastest and easiest way to sell and recycle your gadgets. eBay? Oh man, they take a cut and so many scammers. Ooh, um, Craigslist? 414 year olds calling to tell you they can buy it for half as much. Ew. Yeah. How about selling your electronics on Gazelle? Ooh. 300,000 products from over 20 different categories. Unlike some sites, shipping is taken care of. It's free on all items of value and in most cases, they'll even send you a box. And if you're thinking about green, you'll be happy to hear that Gazelle makes all of their recycling partners adhere to some strict policies. No exports, no landfills, and tons of data security standards. Those are all good things. Gazelle.com, it's a great way to get cash to upgrade to the latest iPhone or Android phone. Please support App Judgment by supporting our sponsor, Gazelle.com. All right, so now let's see how this app can make your life easier. So now that you've got everything installed, using it as a breeze. Simply navigate in your browser to the page you want to send your phone, click the little icon to the right of your address bar, and then Chrome to Phone does all the work. Within seconds, you should see a notification on your phone telling you that there's a link. Open that up, tap the link, and the appropriate application loads the page that was on your desktop. It's just that easy. I already mentioned how Google Maps is one of the key things that makes this app so powerful. Any location or set of directions or anything in Google Maps can get pushed from your browser to your phone. And the best part is your phone knows exactly to launch the Google Maps app without you even having to tell it. The integration doesn't stop at Google Maps. Nope, it also applies to YouTube. So if you're watching a great video on your desktop and you want to be able to pull it up on your phone to show someone later, just tap the Chrome the phone icon and then your phone knows to launch the YouTube app and loads the video you were just watching. Now the majority of your use of this app might not be in native apps, but simply your web browser. This is especially helpful in this day and age of really long URLs. Tapping the Chrome to Phone icon in Chrome will send the URL of the page to your phone, which then when you tap it, pulls up the page on your browser of choice. Doesn't get much easier than that. The last thing I discovered was Chrome to Phone doesn't just stop at links. If you highlight text in the Chrome browser and click the Chrome to Phone icon, it will send that text to your phone and copy it to the clipboard, so you can paste it into any app of your choice. Or if you highlight a phone number, Chrome to Phone knows to tell your phone to pull up the dialer so you can call that number immediately. Chrome to Phone may seem ridiculously simple, and that's because it is. It already saved me time and made it much easier to bounce between my desktop and my phone with ease. Being able to push links and information from your desktop to your phone this easily will change your world, trust me. Plus, the app on your phone is super tiny, and best of all, it's free. Now that said, it could be a little tricky for novices to set up if you're not familiar with browser extensions or if you don't use Chrome. That said, this one is easy. Download this app. As you can tell, I love this application. It's simple, easy to use, and once you start using it, you don't know how you lived without it. That's my favorite kind of app. Are you using Chrome to Phone or another link pusher type app? Email me at appjudgment or revision3.com and let me know. And you can check us out on the internet at Facebook, Twitter, or on YouTube. 
And as always, you can find previous episodes and ways to subscribe at revision3.com slash I'm Ron Richards. This is App Judgment, and I'm going to go back to my desktop. <laughs>